Buhay Pilipinas, ito ang Liga, ito ang BBA. It's BBA Friday mula sa Big Dome. Sa Smart Renata Coliseum, as usual, double header. Ang aming ihatid sa inyo, magbabakbakan sa ating unang laro sa araw na ito. The Elnex Road Warriors against the Alaska Aces in what should be a battle between two teams trying to gain some momentum dito sa ating uh, Philippine Cup as the stretch comes in, entering the playoff round here in the first conference of this new season. Elnex and Alaska trying to gain momentum. Alaska had it, lost it for one game, and continued on. Enlex can't seem to find the momentum. Ako po si Charlie Guna, kasama ko ngayon, none other than the Dean. Kinito Henson, anong assessment mo sa laro to, uh, the Dean? I'm going to be very excited because we all know it's important. Huh? Uh, both these teams have two games left sa kanilang schedule in the eliminations, and they've got to be able to step it up. Alaska, once to fortify its position as number one sa liga natin. They're seven and one on record nila. While, uh, Ang uh, Enlex naman is 3 and 5. Enlex has lost 4 of its last 5. The only win during that stretch was a 20-point blowout over Blackwater. Ito makikita po natin ang ating team standings. We did say Enlex is 3 and 5. They're coming off a loss, a 2-point loss right. to Rain or Shine at Alaska 7-1. If you take a look at uh, the Enlex record, actually, two of those 5 losses could have gone either way. They lost to San Miguel Beer by 3 and they lost to Rainer Shine by two. So it could have been uh, a record of five and three for uh, NLEX, if not for those misfortunes against San Miguel Beer and their last game. That's right, it's a bit of a pain for Rainer Shine in their last uh, game. But you know, leading the way, their point guard. He's been playing well, especially in their last two ball games. Good statistics across the board. Yan nga, nakikita natin, 9.3 in the first six games. Last two, umangat almost 20 points a ball game for Jonas Villanueva. Well, unbelievable performance, and it's due. For Jonas Villanueva, he's got the maturity, he's got the poise and leadership of a point guard. Plus, he gives you a threat. He needs to open up the floor, and that's why his outside shooting is so important. Averaging 19.5 points the last two games, he stretches the floor for Asi Taulava to take over inside. Well, you know, Asi Taulava will be at the forefront. Pero, you think this guy is much smaller than Asi Taulava, but he'll be matching up inside. It's the beast. And the beast mode was definitely activated para kay coach Alex Compton in his player, Calvin Abueva, former Rookie of the Year. Statistics, double-double ang kanyang average. The only non-center in the league to be averaging a double-double. Oh, Charlie, this game is unique because it features two players who are averaging a double-double. Si Asi Taulava and the beast, Calvin Abueva. For someone who's 6'2", averaging more than Asi Taulava, you have to scratch your head and say, this guy has arrived as a major league rebounder sa liga natin. Ito, pakinggan natin. Well, they're about to call out the starting lineups here at the Big Dome. Uh, of course, the beast will always be in the thick of things when you talk about the uh, interior, Kuhana ng rebound, depensa, hustling for that ball. Let's see if he does more of the same dito sa ating laro. Pakinggan natin ang ating hardcore announcer. Welcome to our first game. It's time to meet the starting lineups of the protagonists. First from your Alex Road Warriors. Starting at guard, number 11, Jonas Villanueva. Also at guard, number 3, Matt Cardona. At forward, number 16, Mark Barbara. Also at forward, number 17, Aldrich Ramos. And at center, number 88, Asi Taulava. And coach for the Road Warriors is Boya Fernandez. And now, let's meet the starting five of your Alaska Aces. Starting at forward, number eight, Calvin Abueva. The other forward, number 35, Tony De La Cruz. At center, number seven, Sonny Thaws. At guard, number three, Cyrus Banyo. And also at guard, number 42, J.B. Castillo. Head coach for the Aces is Alex Compton. Game officials are in Para kay Coach Alex Compton, ang kanyang starting lineup, J.B. Castro, Titus Baguio in the backcourt. 
Sonny Toss, the boss, uh, nasa gitna. Calvin Agueva, the beast, and Tony De La Cruz, the veteran. Ang kanilang mga forwards, para naman sa Enlex, it's Mac Mac Cardona and Jonas Villanueva sa likod. Ito si Asito Olava naman nasa gitna. Aldrich Ramos and Mark Warburan, yung kambal. Nasa forwards naman para dito. Hey, Boats Boy at Fernandez. And action is about to get underway. Charlie Kuna, Kenito Henson, Riza Diaz will join us later on at courtside. We're at the Big Dome for PBA Friday. Uh, Charlie, big interesting statistic dito for NLEX. They're number one sa liga natin in field goal percentage. Yet, the record is only three and five. So, you ask the question, paano yun? They're number one in field goal percentage, but the record is only three and five. Well, they're also number ten in defense. And in five losses, four of them, they gave up 90 points or more. So, they're losing because of defense. They're not holding up. They're not protecting the basket. And that's why they're losing. They may be hitting their shots from the field at a high rate, but if you're giving up points on the other side, more than what you're putting in, then you're in trouble. So the defense has to be the focus of the NLEX again. That's it. So, in the beginning of the day, they're shot, but they're more than shot. They can't do that in basketball. We're talking about defense. And I'm asking them, it's number one in the league natin in terms of defense. They're giving up only 74.7 points a game. So, Alaska winning on defense and NLEX losing because of the lack of defense. Interesting how this game will uh, pan out because NLEX has definitely mas magandang opensa no, in terms of their execution, especially when they go to the half court. But they need to be able to make the stops on the other end. Alam mo, sa bagumpisa na ating laro, nagpalitan ng tres itong magkabi lang kumaran. Jamie Castro para sa Aces, Mark Borbora naman para sa NLEX Road Warriors. And now they go inside. To Sunny Toss. You know, I think that's very important Kinito, para sa Alaska Aces to change it up. Kung may outside shooters, pumapasok yung mga tira nila Castro, nila Baguio from outside. Then they go inside, pound it in to, Asi, uh, to, to Sunny Toss. Maybe Calvin Abueva, uh, Sam Eman when he comes in later on. Kailangan hindi pwedeng eh, uh, one-dimensional laro. That's true. It has to be very unpredictable. Yung kanina nakita natin si Calvin Abueva picking up his first assist of the game. And for Calvin, you can see that he's passing a lot more. He's iniikot niya yung bola. He's averaging a double-double, but he's also averaging three assists again. There's another assist. He gave up the shot coming down the middle. The crossover dribble ito si Cyrus Baggio to lose the defender, pero di pumasok. An outside jumper, two minutes gone by, practically dito sa ating first quarter of action. Here's Borboran. You know, he and Aldrich Ramos. Magandang weapon yan para kay Coach Boyd for the two guys who are, you know, atangkat yan, 6'5", pero tumitira sa labas and they open things up for this guy, Asita Olav, who misses that shot inside. Well, they're both stretch forwards. And for Aldrich Ramos, he's the guy who hit 64% of his shots from the three-point distance. So you have to respect ang kanyang shooting ability. Agueva, that one-hander, almost standing straight. Nagbintisyo na kuha niya yung rebound. He goes to TDLC this time. It was a fresh 24 for the Aces. As they pass it around top that 3.9. Finally, they go into the boss. It's one of those times that Sanitos is being guarded by a man bigger. Taller than he is. He misses. Abueva misses on second chance. And Cardona finally grabs it for the purple search of the MLX team. Aldrich, siya naman susubok mula sa tres. And that's a bit short. Cardona, the offensive board, goes under the defense, still can't get it. Well, Web already has four rebounds in this game. We barely started. Uh, so it's uh, more than a rebound a minute so far. Wala pa four minutes eh. <laughs> so si J.B. Castro hit his first three. They go out to Baguio, had all day to set, shoot, and score. Oh, oh, great patience on that time. Hindi nakakuha ng uh, puwang. Si JV Gacho, but they moved it around. Dalawang tres na early in this game for the Alaska Aces. Eight to three on the score. Lima, kanina nga bang? And in the backward, able to cross that timeline is the uh, NLEX team and, you know, good defense on the part of Alaska. Well, for Alaska, ang ginawa nila, they made uh, Aldrin Ramos try to bring the ball up court. No? Hindi yung, kanya nat yung kanila natural point guard na si Jonas Villanueva. And that's what the defense does to you, no? It forces you to give up the ball to others who need to be able to get that ball across the timeline. Good pass, quick pass from Abueva to Toss. He misses Abueva, second chance, no goal. Pagpakan sa rebound, Cardona nakakuha niya. Here's Jonas Villanueva, hesitates a bit, it's short, gets it right back. Masyado malakas ang pectus off the glass, and how could he have missed that layup? They go the other way. 
so far, Enlex, mukhang nakikipagsabayan sa takbuhan ng Alaska. That's not their game. Enlex is number 11 in the league in fast break points. They need to set up offensively, use the half court, get the ball in the hands of the big guy, as Taulava, not run the break. Casho going around. Taulava gets that baseline. Pinadaan ni Asi. And Casho took advantage. It's now 10 to 3. Pito ang lamang ng Alaska Aces. 7 and 41 remaining here in the first quarter. Casho with 5 to lead his team.